Hey there, Dr. Mark McCauley. So today I'm gonna to talk about vaping. I get a lot of patients asking about vaping as an alternative to smoking. And while it is better than smoking, I'm gonna go through a few things that are not so good about it too. So number one, it does change the bacteria in your mouth. So all of those chemicals that are in that vape all of that nicotine especially, and even if you're vaping marijuana, that can change the flora or the bacteria in your mouth. And I do see a lot of patients getting more fungus overgrowth when they're vaping, and it will also make you more prone to cavities. So it does change the bacteria into making it more likely to have cavities. Also, it increases your risk of infection. So whenever you vape, especially when it's nicotine, it actually constricts the blood vessels. That's one of the side effects of nicotine. It's a vasoconstrictor. So if you're not getting enough blood to your gums here, you can actually get more incidents of having abscesses and things like that, just general dental infection and even gum disease too. Also dry mouth, so that vaping it also constricts your blood vessels when it's nicotine, and even just those chemicals, they can dry your mouth out, and even the air coming in and out can dry it out. That makes you, again, more prone to getting cavities, more prone to getting gum disease, and it also affects the pH of your saliva. So it also affects it, so depending on the chemicals that are inside of it, sometimes it can make it more acidic, which makes you more prone to getting cavities, also, it can make it more basic, which makes you more prone to getting fungal inf infections and fungal overgrowth too. So you gotta be careful what you're putting into your mouth. Again, it is better than smoking, as in not as bad as smoking, but it's still not good for you, that's for sure. And also, biofilm formation. So the bacteria, you'll actually notice if you vape a lot, Sometimes you'll actually get red gums and you'll get more plaque buildup. You'll get more of that white bacteria building up around your mouth. And that again makes you more prone to getting cavities and gum disease. So while again, if you're switching from smoking to vaping, generally speaking, that's gonna help you out there, but it's still not good. We still recommend for our patients to try to quit that because it's one of those things. It can make you prone to having a whole lot more issues with your mouth. So if you do have any gum issues or you're vaping or smoking, definitely come in, get checked out by a periodontal specialist because we're the ones that you, they can actually take care of a lot of your issues that arise. So thanks for listening and give us a call.